My favourite football moment has to be last year's grand final between the Brisbane Raw and Central Coast Mariners. Um, I had you know, people that I knew very close from when I was a young kid in Graham Arnold and also people that I met later along the way like Ange Postacoglu uh, on the other side. And just the atmosphere, um, the game itself was, was absolutely fantastic. And how Brisbane Raw come back from 2-0 down with about four minutes to go, I'll, I'll never know. And, and just, it just topped off what was a fantastic season. Well, I say this, and I don't say this lightly, the fans um, are the lifeblood of the game. And that means in Australia, in Europe, uh, in all of Asia, South America, Africa, wherever you may go, they are the lifeblood of the game. They, the fans, are what makes the game so powerful, so, so great, and, and also um, so, so beautiful. Um, but we always hear about the beautiful game. A lot of people ask me from a lot of other sports, why is it called a beautiful game? For me, it's encapsulated most by the fans and their passion, um, their, their verve, and the way that they go and support their teams. Do you think Manchester United would be as powerful and, and as big as they are without their fan base? No. And that goes for all the big sides around the world. The reason that put, sets them aside originally is the fact that they've got such a massive fan base. And that comes um, from the passion that the team give out. Well, Brett Emerton um, definitely coming to my hometown here in Sydney. I hope gives Sydney a huge boost after a disappointing season last season, and I'm sure it will. Um, but one of my um, early roommates um, for the Australian Socceroos was Harry Kuehl. And when we went to Chile, I think it was in 1996, um, he was a young 17-year-old, and, and the late, great Eddie Thompson um, put him in a room with me. I don't know why. And I struck up a great relationship with him then and obviously came across him several occasions um, playing against him when I was playing for Manchester United, for Chelsea and, and for Aston Villa. And uh, I've always loved watching him play and I can't wait um, to see him don the jersey of Melbourne Victory in front of what will be packed houses week in, week out and, and to test his wits against uh, Australia's best.